Hey guys, welcome back to the Erso Box, and I hope you guys are doing great. Today on Karilicious, we have Lasuni Bindi Roast Gravy. So let's get into the video and look at the ingredients. So for the dry Lasuni Bindi Roast, we need three cloves of garlic that can be grated or a paste, one teaspoon of cumin seeds, two cups of bindi, neatly sliced. And for the gravy, we need three cloves of garlic, grated or paste, ginger and haldi in small pieces, again grated or paste. Garam masala half teaspoon, coriander or dhania powder half teaspoon, mirchi powder half teaspoon, one and a half tablespoons of ghee, one finely chopped onion, one and a half finely chopped tomato, and one and a half cups of water. So let's get started. Wash the bhindi before chopping it. Bhindi is a very slimy vegetable, and if it gets in contact with water in its raw form, after being chopped, it can get really very messy. So first we're going to add 1 tablespoon of ghee to a saucepan. Then we're going to add the garlic paste and once you get the aroma of garlic and see it turn golden, add the bhindi slices. See that there is no water in the bhindi so that it doesn't become slimy on gas. Let it roast nicely and then once it turns a little brown, take it aside on a plate. This is your dry lasuni bhindi roast which is ready. So now let's head to make the gravy. Add one and a half tablespoons of ghee. Keep the gas on sim. Add ginger garlic haldi paste along with jeera, garam masala, coriander powder, mirchi powder and let it saute on sim. After four minutes, add the finely chopped onions and let it saute for three minutes. Mix well. Now let's add the tomatoes. If you have a mixi, you can make a puree of tomato and put it in your curry. I do not have a mixi, so I am smashing it while I add 1.5 cups of water. Keep mixing on a medium flame. Now we are going to keep mixing the gravy really very well till the water starts boiling and let all the masalas mix really well. Add a little bit of salt according to your taste. And then close the lid and keep it on a medium flame while it cooks. Then we're going to check this after 5 minutes and see if the gravy has cooked really well. If you want a better paste, you can keep mashing it while it cooks. And now we see it's like really very piping hot. Let's add the dry lasuni bhindi to the gravy and mix well. Garnish with coriander leaves and it's ready to be served. So you can have this along with roti, rice or anything. Trust me, it tastes damn good. Try it out guys and let me know how you liked it. Drop your comments in the comment section and don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. See you when I see you.